Hello beautiful internet family, Danny from dancetube.tv and if you're new around these parts you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. I've ended my mission to help tech enthusiasts unlock their creative potential with technology and today we're checking out the newly released DJI Air 2S, we're checking out its digital zoom capabilities. Now is this the best digital zoom available on a drone or is it something that you can just forget about and move on with your life? In this video, I'll be testing out three different resolutions. We'll be checking out the 1080p footage and all of the zooming functionality within 1080p. We'll then be checking out 2.7K and 4K. So three different resolutions and a variety of different zooming capabilities. Let me know in the comments below, do you notice any differences between the quality? Is it noticeable? Do they all look the same? Do you even think it's usable using digital zoom or is it just way too grainy and the quality drops too much that you just don't even think it's worthwhile? I'd love to know in the comments below. Let me know and we can start a conversation. So you can see in the 1080p mode here, I can go all the way up to eight times. I can do two times, four times, and then eight times digital zoom. So you can see I move the camera up here and I zoom in to eight times. It's almost unusable footage. You can see when I go back to one times, just the normal view, how far you can actually get in there. And you can actually go to 8.5 times. If you press and hold where that zoom button is and then actually drag your finger either down or up, depending on what zoom you're at, you can actually get a smooth zoom. So you don't have to just tap and get those jump cuts. You can actually get a really nice smooth zoom, which I thought was really cool. I love how you've got that option to kind of have a nice gradual zoom into a subject. Although looking at the eight times footage, is it even usable? Probably not at that point. I also started testing the tracking here. It just came to me. I thought, well, what happens if I'm tracking something and then I change my zoom? Is that going to keep tracking it? And I was blown away. I could go to eight times zoom here. It would have a tiny little jerk because it was trying to pick up on the boat, but it didn't lose the boat at all. Even when I went to just one times, it still figured out that it was tracking that boat and it was doing a great job. It's remarkable that it can do this. I love that you can zoom into something and then start tracking it straight away. It did an amazing job. And that was all in the 1080p mode, super easy to use and some great results there. And then moving on to the 2.7K here, I wanted to get it quickly so that I could keep tracking this boat here and see how we'd go. So I zoomed it into four times here under the 2.7K resolution. You can see it's fine. It's tracking the boat. Everything's completely fine. And then tap it again and it pushes in to six times zoom. So we've got quite a decent zoom here. The quality looks a lot nicer at six times compared to that eight times where it just loses all clarity. You don't even know what you're looking at at that point when you're in 1080p, eight times zoom, that's crazy stuff. But as you can see here, the boat's moving. There's lots of other boats around it. And amazingly enough, at those different levels from two to four to six times zoom, it still picked up on the boat. It didn't lose it once. That was amazing to me. I then accidentally knocked the autofocus here, but then I, pushed it into that scrolling wheel where you can actually adjust the zoom organically or naturally, I guess you could say. And you can see here as I zoom out, it places a pin because it loses the boat. But then when I zoom back in again, it figures out that it's still tracking that boat. It's amazing the software they've put behind these drones now. And this is the most advanced I've seen a drone personally. I'm really amazed with how it performed here. And then bumping it into 4K, you can now see that I've got four times zoom straight away. I've put it onto the boat again because I kind of wanted to keep that theme going and see you know, how we would go with that. I then also, while I was tracking, decided well, let's do like a point of interest here and try to move while it's tracking and see if I can zoom as well. So you can see I zoom out to one times and it completely loses the boat, puts a pin somewhere and it loses it. But then for some reason it figures out, well, actually I was tracking that boat. Look at this. There are so many boats around. It's remarkable that it was able to figure this out. It literally just put a point down, lost it. And then when I zoomed into four times, it somehow figured out that was the boat that I was tracking. I'm honestly blown away. This is remarkable stuff right here. Again, I knocked the autofocus, classic Dan doing his uh, fantastic stuff. And then I did that automatic scroll to see if it would continue zooming and tracking. 
it lost it, but then it picked it up again. It's crazy what this thing can do. Um, I then stopped at that point. It was very windy on this day, um, but just from this test here, the 1080p 2.7K and the 4K did a really good job of tracking. And it was amazing to see that I could move and track a subject while zooming into the different modes and it would figure it out. It would figure out, well, that was the boat I was tracking. Even though it placed the pin, it lost the boat. It was like, yep, even though there are like hundreds of boats in this area, that was the boat I had my eye on. That is remarkable to me. I was really impressed with this. I wasn't expecting this to actually be the test. I was just gonna test the zooming functionality, but to see how remarkable it was in, in this setting here, tracking a boat, was phenomenal to see. So I'd love to know in the comments below, how did you find this? Was this remarkable to you? Did this blow your mind? I was not expecting it to be this amazing. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day. I'd love to see you in my upcoming videos. I've got some fun giveaways and some really awesome videos coming very soon that I can't say too much about just yet, but make sure to subscribe and come back to the channel as there'll be some awesome content coming soon. Anyway, have a fantastic day guys. Chat to you soon and peace out.